Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to be a better top. So let's get right into this. If you guys are looking for comfy and cute new undies, Sonomos.com is the place to go. They offer a variety of different colors and designs, along with jogger style pants, which are great for working out. I love my new underwear and pants, and I know you guys will as well, so definitely check out Sonomos.com and use code RICHIE15 at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. Check it out and let me know what you think, guys. So let's get right into this video, guys. How to be a better top. You know, a lot of us sometimes are scared to go on to the dark side, whether it be bottoming or topping. For me, it was topping because I started out bottoming and I really gained a lot of experience in the adult industry. So it wasn't the most real world experience, but I definitely feel like I have experienced everything a bottom can experience. Let me give a quick shout out to my very much appreciated Patreon members. You guys are awesome. I hope you're enjoying all of my content over there. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, definitely check out my Patreon. I think you'll like what you find over there. Topping is something that you perfect with time. The same way bottoming is. You don't just get into it and know exactly what you're doing. I only started topping and actually enjoying it this year. It's all about changing your mindset. Before that, I was kind of very submissive, or I thought I was submissive, and I thought I wanted to always have somebody that was taking control, when in reality, that's not who I am, at least in my mind, and at least not in the bedroom. So this kind of work that I do in the adult film industry, I've learned a lot about myself through that, including this. So I actually discovered that I like topping on a on a set. I was filming a video for a studio and they were like, Richie, you're going to be topping in this scene. I was like, all right, I can do it. I had topped before that, but you know, I was just like, okay, whatever. This is going to be not so enjoyable. I was kind of going in with that mindset, which is not good, but I went in and I actually really enjoyed it. We had great chemistry, me and the guy. I'm not going to mention him. I'm not going to put anybody on blast. Everything went really well and I got really into it and I didn't need to stop and, you know, build things up again or anything like that. I was able to just stay in the moment and stay in the vibe and just get the scene done. And it was actually really highly rated as well. You almost have to unlock a new part of your mind. And when I say this, it's different for everybody, of course, but for me, it was like unlocking the warrior inside of me. And when I say that, I mean like the masculine, like superhero that lives inside of me. I've always felt like I have not a scary person, but like a much more intimidating person that lives in me that I don't choose to present myself as. And it comes out sometimes, but... Um, you know, some people could call that an alter ego, but I call it a mindset. And that's something that I had to learn in order for me to start enjoying topping. It was almost like, you know, pushing the wimpy little bottom boy away and welcoming in the, you know, masculine, strong, powerful top. <laughs> Big D energy, you know what I mean? So... I struggled when I was first topping and when I was first kind of getting into it and learning how to before I even discovered that I liked it. I think my first actual topping scene was like two years ago and I didn't like it. I struggled a lot with staying up and you know I had to kind of just fake it till I made it. I had another scene with a particular guy that just did not go well. I was topping him and he had a very hairy bum, very, very hairy. And when it's very, very hairy, 
that hair can start to hurt when you're, you know, trying to like work around it. It just gets in the way and it's a turn off. And I was trying my hardest to just get the scene done. I mean, you know, everything else about him was nice, but he was just had a very hairy bum, even the crack and everything. So we actually had to change positions. The producer stepped in and he saw that the bottom wasn't enjoying it. Like he wasn't in pain or anything, but he wasn't enjoying me topping and I guess it might not have looked the best. So they changed things around to where I was then bottoming. That was fine, we just finished the scene like that. I think we did a verse scene for that one, if I can remember correctly. And I'm not trying to incorporate this into this video, you know, my work, but at the same time, I kind of have to because that's where my experience comes from. Once we finished the scene, that model who I was very friendly with beforehand and, you know, I was getting along really well with him, he ended up having an attitude with me for the rest of the week and I've heard from other people that he's said certain things about me and, that, you know, whatever. That's just like high school drama that I don't need to pay attention to, but I wish I could have at least explained this to him that that was one of my first times topping and I really didn't know what I was doing and when you're on a set you know people are waiting on you so you don't you don't really have all the time in the world to just be you know getting into the mood you have to pretty much already know what you're gonna do and I just didn't so my next thing is bottoms are the best tops and I've heard multiple people tell me this before I've even seen comments on it on under some of my YouTube videos but it's true bottoms are the best tops and that's because they can read nonverbal cues, they know what areas to hit, they know what feels good and what typically doesn't feel good. And when I say nonverbal cues, I mean like, you know, painful facial expressions, like that just, some are good, but if, it, if the bottom just keeps making that face, that means you're not doing something right. And he's just being nice and trying to, you know, let you continue by not ruining the vibe. So when you see a bottom like, continuously just make painful facial expressions, you need to change things around. Another nonverbal cue could be the tone of the sounds that they're making. If they're making sounds that are like, mm, like strained noises like that, that means you're not doing something right. If it's more soft and like, uh, you know, like breathy, they're probably enjoying it. And then another nonverbal cue could be like an automatic movement. So like if they put their hands up and like push you, you know, away from them a little bit as you're trying to like push into them, that's kind of like an automatic thing. And it's kind of like your body's automatic response to something that it doesn't like. So if they're just doing that a lot, then, or anything, you know, pushing you with their feet or like pulling away from you, change things around and talk to them, you know, ask them, are you enjoying this? Like, how does this feel? It doesn't have to be silent. It, it's not awkward if you talk, but at least try to sound, you know, try to have that bedroom voice at least. Stop rushing through it, Tops. You need to stop rushing through the bedroom hookup moments because you just disregard the other person's feelings when you do that. It just makes it less enjoyable and it's pretty selfish if you ask me. This seems to be a common issue though with guys in general, because straight guys are the same way. I hear girls talk about how quick, you know, some guys are and how they never get a chance to get to their climax. And I think it's a real problem. So you just need to be communicating with whoever you're penetrating and making sure that, you know, they're enjoying it and that they're getting off in the same way. Also, why are you rushing through it? Like, do you have somewhere to be? Do you have an appointment to get to? There's a bunch of reasons why you could be rushing through a hookup, but just try your hardest to make it as long as possible because those are the best hookups. If you're not breaking a sweat, you're not doing it right. So if you guys finish and both of you are not even like red in the face or flushed or, you know, glossy or glowy or anything, it's like, what was the point of it then? I've had a couple hookups like that, which I don't even want to talk about, but to me, a good top makes sure that the bottom sweats as well. And you, you're usually feeling his sweat drip onto you if it's a great hookup and he knows what he's doing. 
I love those good hookups when the guy is just so sweaty and just like, it feels like a workout afterwards. That's how a true top should have you feeling. Even if you're a bottom, you know, it is a workout for the bottom as well because you're having to use your core muscles and, you know, sometimes hold your legs up in different positions and it is a workout. So if you guys aren't sweating, then he doesn't know what he's doing. Tops need to have good hygiene as well. Many, many tops forget about this. You need to be scrubbing your cheeks the same way that the bottom's scrubbing his cheeks before a hookup because you never know where his hand's gonna go. You never know, you know, where his face is gonna go, what his nose is gonna smell. That means, you know, pull the skin back, make sure that you're getting everywhere. Body hair is good, just make sure that you're trimmed accordingly. Just try not to have too much of excessive body hair because that can really be not good and it can get in the way. So I think that's gonna wrap up my video of how to be a better top. I don't consider myself a pro top yet, but I do really enjoy topping. I actually consider myself fully verse, so I like both sides, you know? The best of both worlds, what's wrong with that? All right guys, well that is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you thought about some of my points. I just want to shed some light on some of these topics because, you know, some people never learn these things ever. And to be a good top, you need to make sure that your bottom is enjoying the experience in the same way that you are, if not better. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought about this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.